Welcome back to another episode of Susan Lopresti Wellness, Mind, Body, and Soul, the podcast where we explore the highs, the lows, and everything in between when it comes to a woman's life, her health, and all aspects of navigating the midlife landscape. I'm your host, Susan Lopresti, and today I want to talk to you about the importance of good dental hygiene. Good dental hygiene is really essential for maintaining your overall health and your well-being. It goes way beyond just having a sparkling smile. It has far-reaching implications for your physical, mental, and also your social health. And I want to give you some key points that highlight the importance of good dental hygiene and the health risks that are associated with poor dental hygiene. Let's talk about the prevention of dental issues. Proper dental hygiene practices such as regular brushing and flossing and also going to the dentist regularly are really fundamental in preventing common dental issues like cavities and gum disease, which is also called periodontal disease. These problems can lead to pain and discomfort, and also they're expensive treatments if we leave them untreated for too long. It's a really big expense to have dental procedures done. We also want to look at systemic health. So the health of your mouth is closely connected to your overall systemic health. Poor dental hygiene has been linked to various systemic health issues, including heart disease, diabetes, respiratory infections, and even adverse pregnancy outcomes. The exact mechanisms of these connections are still being researched, but it's clear that oral health does play a significant role in your body's overall well-being. And then also regular dental checkups will help to have early detection of any kind of oral cancer. So regular dental checkups are a great oral cancer prevention. Early detection is really crucial if you want to have successful treatment. For anyone who smokes and has excessive alcohol consumption in combination with poor dental hygiene are at a significant risk for oral cancer. And the other aspect is bad breath or halitosis as it's called. And poor oral hygiene can really result in chronic bad breath, which is socially embarrassing for one thing, right? And bad breath is often caused by a buildup of bacteria in the mouth, which can be reduced simply through regular brushing and flossing. So it's very easy to prevent. I want to also talk to you about preserving your teeth right? So good dental hygiene practices can help you keep your natural teeth for a lifetime. Tooth loss due to decay or gum disease can not only be painful, but also affects your ability to chew your food properly, which can impact your overall nutrition. Mental health and confidence also plays a role because a healthy, attractive smile can boost your self-esteem and your mental well-being. And people with dental issues may want to avoid social situations and also suffer from lower self-confidence due to their appearance. Also, we need to talk about cost savings because Dental procedures are expensive. And even with dental health insurance, there's still a big out-of-pocket expense for you as the patient. So preventative dental care is typically less expensive than treating dental issues once they've progressed. Regular checkups and cleanings 
can really catch problems early on, which will save you money in the long run. That's why I recommend going to the dentist every six months for a cleaning and also to have the dentist check your gums and see if they're receding in any areas. And if they are, to provide treatment right off the bat. The next thing I want to talk about is digestive health because proper chewing is really essential for good digestion. And dental problems, such as if you're missing teeth, can make it difficult to chew food properly and really break it down before swallowing, which potentially can lead to digestive issues if you're not properly chewing your food. And then the overall quality of your life. Good dental hygiene contributes to an overall higher quality of life. A healthy mouth enables you to eat comfortably, speak clearly, and smile confidently. In contrast, poor dental hygiene will lead to a range of health risks. So there's tooth decay. When you don't brush and floss regularly, plaque and bacteria can build up and that leads to tooth decay, cavities, and also gum disease. So let's talk about gum disease. When I was younger, I suffered with gum disease plenty of times. It's also called gingivitis in the early stage and it's called periodontal disease, which is the advanced stage. They're both conditions where the gums become inflamed and can result in tooth loss if left untreated. I had plenty of surgeries for periodontal disease where they had to stitch up my gum and actually get it to form tighter around my teeth. That's how much they had receded. If left untreated dental problems, right, can lead to tooth loss, which can have a significant impact on your oral function and your overall health of your entire body. Infections are caused by dental abscesses and can develop causing very severe pain and potentially spreading to other parts of your body, which really could be deadly. I actually knew of someone who had dental problems and it went to his brain and he ended up in a coma and died. And I'm not saying that to scare you, I'm saying it to make you aware. So if you're noticing any kind of dental issues in your mouth, please, it's so much easier to go when they first begin than to wait until it advances. That's a very important aspect. If you feel that you have an infection in your mouth, make sure that you go have it checked out. I want to also talk about systemic health issues. As mentioned earlier, poor dental hygiene has been linked to various systemic health problems, including cardiovascular disease and also diabetes. So in conclusion, I just want to say that good dental hygiene is essential for maintaining both oral and overall health. It's not just about having that beautiful smile. It's about preventing painful dental issues and reducing the risk of serious health problems. Regular dental checkups, daily brushing and flossing. Also, you wanna consider a balanced diet and you also want to avoid harmful habits like smoking and also drinking excessively alcohol. Those are essential components of maintaining good dental hygiene. And by extension, like I said, good health as well. I just want to thank you so much for listening to my podcast episode. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you could think of anyone who would benefit from listening to this episode, please do me a favor and share it out with them. The purpose of my podcast is to spread my message about being proactive in maintaining good health. We don't want to wait until we're already sick to decide that we want to be healthy. 
we can reverse a lot of diseases through proper health, but why go to that extent? Let's stay healthy. That's what my podcast is all about. And I want to spread that message to as many people as possible. With your help, you can help me to share that message. Also, leave me a comment, ask me a question, or go to my website, www.susanlopresti.com. From there, you could learn a whole lot more about me, my health coaching programs. And also, if you want to, you can schedule a free 30-minute health assessment with me right there from my website. You're under no obligation at all to continue. So why not Get on a call with me, pick my brain, and see if maybe I can offer you some good advice to improve your health. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate each and every one of you. Until the next time, be well, stay happy, and bye for now. <music>